All right, good morning again, everyone, and welcome back to the KSR YouTube channel. It's actually a beautiful day in Florida. I mean, really pretty. There is not a cloud in the sky. It's been some people out flying already. It's actually Saturday. I'm down here doing some work on a couple of projects, but also wanted to give you guys an update on some shop upgrades that we've done that haven't really talked about too much on camera. But I think we've got a few of them done and it's uh, it's worth talking about. So if you like seeing some of the stuff we, we've done to the shop to make it better, follow along and we'll show you what's up. All right, well now that we're here back in the shop, just wanted to thank all you guys again for subscribing to the channel following along, giving us a comment and a like and all that fun stuff just to help keep growing the channel bigger. I still am blown away by all the interactions that we have with people that see us out. It's, it's, yeah, it just blows my mind that people are interested in what we're doing here. At a little shop that I've got a lot of years in trying to, trying to grow this thing, make it bigger and better. And to see people that you know, complete strangers to me that appreciate the work we're doing and the, the effort that we put into stuff. And I think it's just awesome. So thanks again for everybody subscribing. If you aren't subscribed, please subscribe and check your subscription if you think you're subscribed. I had another friend the other day that asked, hey man, you gonna do a video again soon? I'm like I did like three videos last week. Oh, I didn't get any notifications. Checked his subscription and he wasn't subscribed anymore. I don't know what YouTube does. YouTube does YouTube. I don't know, but we're gonna keep doing what we're doing. See if we can get more and more people to follow along. See what all we can come up with, which speaking of that, what do you guys wanna see on the channel? I know quite a few people have wanted to see the old Cutlass come down. I wanna see the Cutlass come down been super busy with customer projects and so the cutlass cutlass definitely needs to come down got a lot of cool parts to put on that thing i've been accumulating parts slowly for years for it i see something cool i'm like ooh, i need that but anyway let's get back to the rest of the shop stuff and you guys tell me in the comments some things you'd like to see Pretty much every car here will get a little video done on it, at least while we're while we're working on it. But uh, yeah, give us a comment about what's some things you guys would like to see, and if we can, we'll try to work it into some of our next videos. Let's get on to the rest of the stuff. All right, well, one thing that's been a big deal to me because it's been a source of a lot of problems is where I park my trailer. We've put some effort into leveling this out and putting some asphalt millings down so that I can park my trailer back here and not get stuck every time I try and get it out. So you can see we kind of made a mess with some, it's a little muddy out there between the gate and the road now. But imagine it being like that pretty much all the way down through this back road here, or back, uh, this back area. And it's a great little spot for my trailer because it's a, you know, it's a pretty big trailer and you've seen it in the background of a few videos, taking up space over in the parking lot, which makes it harder to get in and out of the bays. And it's just, we're trying to make things better and more efficient around here. And this is going to be a big help because it's the, the guy that came and installed this says the trailer's not gonna sink down anymore in it, which is super exciting because man, it's not, has not been fun to get stuck and have somebody have to come pull me out. Luckily I've got some friends with the local tow company and it hasn't cost me anything yet except a bunch of aggravation and time, but not gonna happen anymore. So let's go inside and we'll show you some of the other stuff we got going on. All right, so in the shop here, 
We've got a long-term plan for some things we're gonna change around. So what that's gonna entail is once we clear out the Camaro here and the Viper, which we're still waiting on our shocks to come back from a guy in California. Yeah, let's not talk about that right now. Anyways, we are actually going to close off from the corner of that wall over to the corner of that wall so the tubing rack will come out and we'll actually it'll actually be turned sideways and put on this wall so we're going to close all this off and then that's going to be possibly like part storage maybe a little room for people to come in and come in through the front door instead of having to walk around and come through the shop and probably have something set up where you guys can see out into the shop and we'll have some merch and different things up in the front room make it a little bit more friendly for everybody else that comes in the shop so we've had quite a few of you guys come by the shop and you know stop in to say hi and like when we're out working in the shop it's kind of hard for us to step away you know because we're kind of focused on what we're doing in the shop but if we can have this separate area where you guys can come in and hang out catch some air conditioning in the front merch area figured that would be pretty cool for everybody and back here in the shop itself we you guys saw where we upgraded the dyno fan well we have also upgraded the shop fan and you know we, you can see we got this wall redone here so we're eventually going to have some banners and get that painted and everything and want to do the same thing with that wall and actually seal the top up you can see where some of our insulation up there or at least down there it's kind of falling out after they redid the roof but we're going to jam something up in there and then hopefully air condition the sh part of the shop area or at least do something to try to keep it a little bit cooler in here during the summers but at least right now we can make a bunch of wind with our with our fan and this thing this this thing sounds serious i mean sounds pretty serious firing up doesn't it but it's great to have air flow through the shop but for those of you that do much TIG welding if you get too much breeze going on the breeze can actually pull away your argon shielding gas from the area that you are trying to weld and then your weld becomes contaminated that's something that's very critical is keeping that inert gas around the weld area until everything cools down. Otherwise you get contam contamination. Contamination leads to cracking. Cracking leads to failures at the racetrack, on the street, things you don't want. So as you might imagine, it feels great to be working with a breeze, but at the same time, it, it makes one area better. So another area that is affected by having a bunch of fans running as you can hear right now, you can hear me nice and clear. It makes for hard filming when we've got all the fans going and there's a breeze happening and the fans make a lot of noise. So kind of trying to think ahead for the future videoing here in the shop. And I mean, who wouldn't want to come work on cars in the air conditioning? I know I would. So I've worked on cars in shops long enough in Florida to understand just how awesome it would be to have some air conditioning in this shop. I think we would get a lot more work done. So there's that take on it from the business perspective. And just everybody would, all of us would be happier working in the air conditioning. Me especially. Yeah, all the guys. Everybody would be happier working in the air conditioning. So the last thing I've got to show you guys, and you may have seen them in the last video, maybe not. New garage doors. I get it. That doesn't seem like something to get excited about. But it's something we get very excited about. The doors that were in here were old and rickety. And you had to put every bit of effort. Well, I had to put every bit of my 170 pounds into getting these things open and getting them to where it would open fully. Well, this new, new setup, now that I've got all the locks off, literally one-handed up, 
Actually, I gotta hold on to it because it. If I don't hold on to the rope, it just rockets itself open. Just because it has been. Whew. Okay, it's still bright, still bright out here. So that may seem like something super simple, but we're pretty excited about it. Just the ability to open the doors easier. Sometimes the old doors wouldn't open up all the way. These doors are also insulated, thinking, you know, towards the future to where if we do air condition the inside of the shop and even in the mornings, like right now, I'll actually pull that door back down because you see the sun, the sun shining over in here. It'll actually heat up that whole corner. So I'm just open the door just for you guys on video. But not only do they open better, they close better, they're insulated, they look a lot nicer. I mean, they look, well, they're new. I mean, of course they look nicer. So just having that, you know, it makes the shop look a whole lot better. So one of the next things we'll do outside of the building, probably be, we'll paint the building, but that's probably a few months off just to paint doesn't make it work much better but at least the doors work a whole lot better with them being new and insulated all new tracks we've got a little wall art here that i dug out of my garage at the house didn't really need that that's the hood from my cutlass if you guys were wondering my first hood from way back in the day we painted that when i was 16 years old that's gonna wrap up the shop update video. Appreciate all you guys following along. This video is kind of short. Just figured it'd be a good weekend video to pop out. And we're getting back to the Chevy 2 here, which then that'll be the next video where we crank the Chevy 2 up. You see it's gotten a little closer since the last time. Got some charge pipes going on there. I gotta finish that up. And then this thing is gonna run today. But that'll be my next video. So appreciate everybody watching again. Thanks for subscribing. Give us a comment. Give us a like. Let's keep this thing growing. See you guys next time.